So there's two new features, legs and casters and rails. We'll do legs and casters first. So basically every caster is assigned to a leg. So we turn the legs on, have them show in 2D. Um, at the moment we have a two by two grid. So that's basically just setting a leg at each corner with the equal function selected. Uh, if we do a three by three or three by two, you can see it throws another leg in the middle or adds the leg on the end actually. Okay, so we're back to the two by two. That's what we want for this arrangement. And we've ticked the items that we want casters to show on. So if I, um, I'll just leave this as it is because it's set up correctly. I'll show you the cast, those casters. Okay, so there's those casters there. They've been offset from uh, the edge as well. So if I just get rid of that offset. Okay, so you can see the casters, that's their origins, and they can be offset um, in towards the, the middle of the cabinetry more. These casters are assigned to a post. That little plate there is the post element. Now the height and thickness of that post is determined by this element here. So at the moment we're just using the casters to the base of the cabinetry. Uh, so the post is going to the base. Now I've actually set that, that's um, set in here, uh, sorry, in the general sizes. So it's that height there, the height of the kick. So I can turn that kick off and that height still stays the same. Click OK. You can see everything stays the same. The kick just disappears. Uh, I'll have to fix up that arrangement. That's Once again, that's the recessor panel coming down at the back. So I'll have to get, get that to respond to the kick disappearing. So if we change the height of this, we'll put it up. We won't take it down because that's already fairly thick. So we'll just go add 10 mil. You can see that plate changes. So you basically have to work out the height of this element. I've set it to 78 because I actually have a caster of 75. So I want a three mil plate. Okay, so that's basically how you get casters, but these can be more than just casters. They can obviously be a, a post element. So I'm gonna put this up to the top. And you can see it can be posts with casters. Um, and then you can turn those casters off as well. Now, if you have a single caster left on, then the posts will stay at that, um, that base height starting point. Once you turn all the casters off, then all the posts go down. Um, I might change that logic a little bit and have each post. Sometimes you want posts that stay up off the ground to make clearance for the other posts that have the casters on them. Uh, so I, I might have to adjust that to uh, allow you to move that up and down. Um, we'll see. Okay, uh, to go with this post element, this was set up basically so that we could do um, the necessary uh, joinery for hospitals and schools. So just some typical um, bench tops. Um, so we've added in a rail system that allows you to... Um, put in the supports for this element. So I'll just show that. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna turn off all the joinery so that you can see just the rails. So I'll go into my Okay. So this gives you an idea of the, the system. You basically can nominate the number of uh, beams in each direction. So in this thick one that you can see here, we've got a uh, we've got one, two, three, four by one, two, three, four. So it's a four by four. This one up the top here is just a two by two. It looks like that one down the bottom there's a two by two as well. Um, and you can have different thicknesses and profiles for the external and internal elements. So you can see this is thicker on the outside than it is on the inside. So there's different widths and and that for those elements. So if I go to rails and you can see you've got the edge. So um, if we go to, these are all at the same height. Let's put this one up here, 900. So these are your different elements. So if I click on that and I change that to a three by three, the interface is missing a little bit of line work. There's, these lines are supposed to be continuing through here, uh, but I'll fix that up before I send that through. So there's a three by three. We've got three members in each direction. 
and we can go and we can change uh, the edge can be rectangular or circular. There will be a, a polygon function in there as well soon, a revolve, uh, inner, rectangular, circular, and I can change the width and depth of each of those elements independently. So they can be fairly different elements. You've got, when you select these elements here, you're choosing the, the item that you'll be editing. The first height is for the actual height of the element and the second height is the height difference between the edge elements and the inner elements. So you can actually offset them from each other a little bit. Okay, so that's our new casters, legs and rail functions for our infinite joinery tool. We hope you can make good use of these features. Thanks for watching.